This surgical mask here that is being sold in stores is becoming scarce. And even if we have one also, if the handle is busted like this, then we won't have anything to use. So what shall we do? We will have to improvise by using our own handkerchief. But first, we have to learn how to tie it. And that's uh, our lesson for today. Hi, this is Efren again sharing with you his experiences as a stroke survivor with regard to how he improved his uh, fingers um, after they were paralyzed by stroke. Hoping that when you see this one here, um, I hope that you will be inspired to start your own recovery so that you will join uh, society as a normal being. I am I was struck by stroke way back in April 2013 and this is now my fifth year of recovery and I'm happy to share with you today one of the skills I practiced to get my uh, uh, mobility back and this one deals with the dexterity of the hands Oh, especially the weak hands to turn things or to help uh, uh, perform things together with the strong hand. Actually, this will be a result of uh, the pinching power of the weak hand, uh, pinching power of the string, uh, these fingers, and its ability to move or the ability of the wrist to move uh, or to twist around here. So. I'll show you how to make a, an, an overhand net. We need this kind of skill, especially um, when we want our materials to be in, uh, in one uh, place or in one order. Okay? So here it is. Uh, we can do it single, uh, single thread or we can do it double, but nevertheless, let's do it single thread. Okay? So. With this position here, this end here held by the weak hand and this one held by the strong hand, either way, we will now make a loop. Okay, so the, the weak hand will go over the strong hand. Okay, there. So there is the loop, there is the connection. We have to make it this way. So this one is above this uh, other one here there and then we get this other end here and place it inside here we place it we will get it there place it inside the loop and there we have our first overhand knot this can tie but uh, at times it may not be enough to tie things okay so there you can tie a, anything that you place inside the circle there um, but there is a lock for this, which uh, you can also use to tighten your material so that it will not scatter. So make another overhand knot. Again, place the uh, other end on top of the one on the left hand. Place it there, and then place the end of the the yeah the other end of the one in the right hand inside the loop, and then you can tighten it this way. There you are. So this is the way of making a, what you call here a an overhand net. So we repeat that for a slow motion. So here we go. There. There. Hold it there. Then place this one over here. There. Okay, so it came out. Place another overhand nut there, there. So you have a very tight overhand nut, especially when you uh, pull both ends together. You will need a knife to open it up or untie it later on. Now, uh, 
you want to protect yourself from uh, COVID-9, uh, which is the most, uh, what you call this one here, the most uh, talked about uh, scare today. So if you did not bring a mask, you can use this as your mask. So again, you just place this one over your nose and then, then you see there you got the back. You tie again another or a uh, an overhand knot plus another overhand knot, and you'll have your uh, mask over your face. So there. Here comes the other overhand knot. There. Okay. So, so you are now protected from the COVID or coronavirus. If you want to secure more the downstairs of this, uh, the lower part of this uh, uh, mask here, you you separate both ends and then tie an overhand net, and you will have a more secure uh, coverage of your mask. Sorry for the microphone, but let's see. There you go. So here we go over and under. Then we pull. There you go. So you have a, uh, a very good uh, mask here that will prevent you from breathing any droplets from anywhere else. So you can use this as your uh, mask going around. Thank you for watching and share this video to anyone who needs it. I'll be seeing you in the next uh, video.